Folks, the world is weird. And or wonderful. And I'm gonna bring my little friend Ryan Bergar along to explore every last little bit of it. Where are we? We're at the pie hole! Los Angeles, California. Skip on down to the cozy little arts district and what will your eyes behold but pies, I'm told? Yes, sir, the pie hole has been serving up sweet sliced masterpieces to Lucky Angelinos for nearly a decade. My colleague and I sat down with founder Sean Brennan to learn more about the pie hole's sumptuous lineup of crusty must-haves. This is a dream come true for me. When I moved to Los Angeles, I came here and your pies made me feel like I belong here. Yeah. We, we hear this day in and day out that people, especially in a transient type city like LA, yeah. people are coming from all over the place. Hustle and bustle. Exactly, and you know, we have savory pies and sweet pies and you know, cultures and states and cities all kind of have their traditions. So they feel kind of at home here and that we try to make a place where people feel welcome in their home. And he's very passionate about it. As you can see, he only looks up at the ceiling while talking about something when he is almost looking into the recesses of his brain. Pie to me is a sacred, holy thing. Divine so, almost. Yes, so yes, I do look up when I talk about pie. Great, welcome to Mecca. <laughs> Tell us how Pie Hole came to be. How, how did you get involved with it? You know, in 2011, when we opened the first Pie Hole, right where we are today, and we were coming out of a crazy recession, massive unemployment. It, it sounds a little hokey now, but yeah. really we're like, now is the time for pie. Actually. This is a perfect segue because I graduated college in 2009. There were no jobs anywhere. Me and my friends, every Thursday night, we would get together for pie and stay out till 3 a.m. because we didn't care about our jobs. But the pie was very much a balm on my economy injured soul. I think this is a kind of a place too, where I was gonna say having your cake and eating it too, but you know what? Having your pie oh, yeah, and eating exactly. it too. Yeah. In the sense that pie is a very communal thing. I have a crazy proposition. What if we eat a bunch of pie? It's a great idea. Let's do it. Cheers. I think it's time to begin the tour to pie. I think this is a good time to just really take in the monumental activity that we're about to do here. Let's just mentally check in and just say where we're at when, right, right before we do this. Okay, okay. I'm hungry. I'm excited. Yes. Titillated? Okay, I don't Can I like, say that? I don't like the way you danced on the tees there, but I get it, yes. Your turn. Let's see what you got. You know what? I'm ready to take it to Pie Town. I'm gonna turn this whole place into my pie palace. It sounded like a one-way ticket situation. Are you coming back? I'm never coming back. Well, let me punch your ticket. Oh, hell yes. And let's go. Okay. So this is the one people write home about. We ship our pies nationwide now. This is the one that people send to other people. Uh, most often. If you can, look at the nicely sectioned off pieces. It's like pieces. When, you, when you see a chunk of the Grand Canyon and there's like, a, you see the mineral deposits in there, but this ain't minerals. This is that sweet stuff. This is the Earl Grey tea. We're talking about dark chocolate ganache on the bottom. Oh, I forgot about that chocolate at the bottom. We've got white chocolate mousse that's been steeped in high quality Earl Grey tea. On top is pastry cream with toasted pistachios, and it's on our traditional old school butter crust. Full disclosure, I have had this pie before. I don't care. Me too, I'm, I'm but it's to been consume. a while, and I am always excited. Everything's off the rails here. Ooh, that fork got a little close to my well, whatever, eye Whatever, man. I was just saying things are off the rails. We got these stashes on. I'm dressed like a millennial Waldo. Let's foster a sense of community. Yeah. Ooh, you're taking a little one, huh? Well, I like a sweet pie, but the sweetness isn't, it's not overbearing. It's like just the perfect amount. I think what it is, is the, the crust is very savory. Mm -hmm. So it, it always brings balance to anything you guys serve. And this is like the perfect example of balance. It took a little while to get this one exactly right, but you know, the dark chocolate, the white chocolate, the little bit of tea, not too much. That's what these are on top, tea nuts? No. no. <laughs> the, these no. are pistachios. Those are pistachios, I was like, idiot. what? I didn't know what, the, what is a tea nut? I don't know. <laughs> he didn't say tea nut. Oh, I thought you said tea nut. <laughs> tea nut, color me interested. Now, it might not be advisable, to eat this whole piece of pie because there's more pie coming, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> I love pie. All right, we're gonna eat every single pie to completion. Is that something we're committing to right now?
Pie one down. Pie one down. <laughs> Let's have more pie. Let's do it. Let's do it. 10 out of 10. Yeah. So Mexican chocolate, the inspiration on this is uh, Mexican hot chocolate, abuelita. I was just about to ask that. That's something I had as a child. I'm very excited to dig and into this. And there's a number of different ways you can make it. We make our style of Mexican chocolate pie. There's a little bit of cinnamon in it. There's a little bit of pasilla pepper, mm. some other spices. It is not hot spicy. It's a little just uh, kick, little wink. It's a wink to spice. This is a really nice, heavy chocolate mousse on our traditional old school graham cracker crust on top to kind of balance it out, which is a pastry cream made with our own espresso. Usually I'll come here and get a piece of pie and I'll get one of these to go and I'll keep it in my fridge and every night for three days at like 11 p.m. I'll just have a big old bite. I've had this before yes. and I love it. You're going to love it. Look, man. And I'd like to see you dive into this. It, this is your show. I'm just along for the ride. You're here for the ride. And you know what? Here we go. This is one that we took it off the menu for it's... a brief period and we've received death threats. You know, I'm normally not a fan of chocolate and I'm normally not a fan of something that's too rich. It makes it palatable for someone like me while still being very, very delicious. My like, favorite part of this whole thing is when you get to the, the back because then the graham cracker starts taking center stage and really dazzling you. Oh my God, I didn't realize I like graham crackers so much. Well, graham crackers are good. I recognize that eating every pie to completion is a fool's errand. Hey, we'll pie our hardest. <laughs> you know what? Okay, let's get to this one. This is the Pie Mom's Apple Crumble. This is her recipe. There's gonna be Granny Smith and other apples because you really want to have kind of a round flavor profile, not just one specific type of apple. This actually looks like it almost splits the difference between sort of a more traditional top crust and a crumble. Yeah, you know, so it's not just like little crumbs on top. It's a hearty crumble. It's a hearty oh, yeah. crumble. It's hearty. This is it's voluminous. Like, it's like I mean, look tectonic at this. plates of deliciousness on yeah, top. Yeah, it has a little bit of oats in it. It's gonna be a butter base. It has brown sugar, but the oats make it what is nice and hearty. This is a uh, chunky boy here. <laughs> yeah. We is. have how many pies left? A lot. Several. This is actually not one that I've had off of your menu, so this is exciting for me. Oh my god, that's that smell. That's the granny. That's the granny. Yep. Here comes the zip. Watch the zip. Watch his eyes light up. Here they go. Whoa! Okay. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got them. It's harmonious. Yeah. It's, it's dancing across my taste buds. It's a concerto. I love it. This is a traditional old school family recipe pecan pie or pecan. I like saying pecan. That's good. So the filling is sweet and salty. This is classic, your sugar and your salt. We've made it a number of different ways. We have a bourbon version. Ooh. We have a version Ooh. with uh, chocolate in it, but this is old school. There's some crystallization happening. That is salt. That is salt. Oh That's man. That's just salt? Dips. That is high quality Dips. Malden salt. Before we dig into this bad boy, I do want to call out that we have abandoned the conceit that we would finish every single pie. Look, you know, we got a lot of uh, really well-structured shows on this channel. This one, it's all about breaking the rules, baby. Even the rules that we set. At the pie hole, we don't judge, guys. Thank that's, you. That's fine. We appreciate that. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa, mama. I that one's got salt front and center. I mean, sweetness front and center, but the salt is stronger than it has been in the other stuff. I gotta say, this might be my favorite one we've had so far. Really? Yeah. You know what? One of the salt flakes, it wedged itself in my cheek. It was hiding? Yeah, it crept out and I got a bonus. Bonus salt. A bonus boost of saltiness. The crust is incredibly well made here. And when you pair it with the salty sweetness of the filling, holy moly. There's a reason why it's a seasonal bestseller, but also why you don't mess with old school recipes because it took generations to perfect, so. What Hi. in the Hi. name? Are you guys ready? I, no. I don't think I, ooh. <laughs> this is the first pie that I'm kind of frightened to eat. So let me allay your fears. This is a cheesecake. The inspiration behind this is drinking your cereal milk when you were a kid. So that's where the, the actual cheesecake base, that's the flavor we were going for is that milk. The crust here is Nilla wafer. We have fruity pebbles inside the cheesecake. On top of the cheesecake, Lucky Charms, to make the pie magically delicious. There they are. 
Sean, you wonderful Willy Wonka. Yeah, this is the one we joke about, that if we were to create a pie in a lab, this is the one. It's a showstopper. Oh, is that fun? Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let me leave the station, too. Oh. Transported. I'm, I'm taking it back, yeah. There was a rush of nostalgia that actually, you can actually watch the footage, it actually pushed me back into my seat. I think I need to take a second bite just because I need to figure out what happened. Let me get a mellow in here. You didn't get a mallow? I, no, I did. Oh, okay. Mallow? Marshmallow, that's how it's spelled. No, it's not, it's M-E-L-L-O. It's not! Is it not? I believe there's an A. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Are you serious? You just... You just cracked my sense of reality here. Oh, because you didn't know how to spell marshmallow? I guess I didn't know how to spell marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were stumbling upon something deeper. Savories? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got... Savories. Savories. Yep. And some greens. I'm going to eat some of those greens very intentionally. Why, Why you can eat? Why? Yeah. Uh, just, just life. You know, you want to make it. We can issue you a letter okay. for your mother that says you ate your greens today. That's good. I would appreciate that. I Sherry feel, Day would love to hear that out there in Schaumburg, Illinois. I feel one hundo right now. I, okay. could eat, I could eat ten more pies if I wanted to, but I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <clears throat> I feel great. <laughs> These are staples for us. The mac and cheese pie has been with us since the very beginning. This is our, our savory dough. We put a lid on top after we put our delicious mac and cheese inside with the to the creamy bechamel sauce, multiple cheeses, and on top is a, is a panko top with a little bit of parsley and garlic. Now you're talking my language because yeah. I like it when you go out to a restaurant and they treat you nice and they put some crispy little breadcrumbs on top. That is true. And that's what this is doing. Yes. I'm excited about this just because I love a mixture of textures when I'm eating yeah. something. And this looks like it's gonna have the nice warmth of like noodles, but that crunch of the panko. Oh, it's so warm. That panko top, yeah. holy smokes. So when I put it in my mouth, I flipped it over so that the panko was on the surface With of my your tongue? tongue. Yeah, I wanted the panko. You have tongue dexterity enough to... I have a very dexterous tongue. I didn't know that. That sounds creepy when I say it like that. I'm only saying it in the context Not of eating like pies. Not like that. It sounds creepy when you say it. Now, I'm no science guy, but I think texture wakes up the taste buds. It says, hey, gives them a little massage, and they go, yeah, what's going on here, the macaroni? <laughs> Either way, all I gotta say, and you'll love this, Shane. That's what you're saving him? He only does one of wow. do, I only do one chef's kiss. Wow. Per, per season? Per, you know what? Per episode. Let's not commit to per season, but per episode. There's no rules on this show. <laughs> all right, it's good. It's great. 10 out of 10. Oh yeah, because we definitely did that for all the all other, the other ones. All the other ones? 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, full roster. All, oh, okay, so we didn't rate them all every time. Whatever, here's the full roster. Right? Oh, great, okay, 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Uh, the, 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 the Mexican chocolate, 10, 10 out of 10. 10. The apple crumble, 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Pecan, Pecan pie. pie, 10 out of 10. Cereal killer, 10 out of 10. Macaroni, 10 out of 10. I haven't even had that one yet, 10 out of 10. 10 Wow. This, my friends, this is old school shepherd's pie. Ground beef, slow cooked, some veg in there. This was workshops with Brits at the table to make oh, wow. sure that it was authentic. More meat. More meat. More meat. So is that what they said when More you put meat. it in front of them? More meat. Something like that. <laughs> we got in trouble for our bad accents. Yeah. Ooh, is that a little tomato? Ooh, I'll have that. Back off. No, I'm getting that tomato. Here we go. So savory. I would love to have that on a cold, rainy night. Hmm. It's quite good. It's quite good. It's quite good. Woo! Holy smokes. That's a lot of pie. And it was all incredible. <laughs> How you feeling? I think I could go to sleep forever. I'd like to just calm it down a little bit here and thank you so much for taking on this journey of pies. I couldn't think of a better way to thank you than by making my own pie for you there's no rules on this show, so I'm gonna do a quick little cutaway. Well, if... clearly not, because I didn't know we were making pies. Now I look like a fool. I come here empty-handed. You look, made a pie? You're fine, you're fine. If you've ever wondered what it's like to watch a, a baking vlog by someone who's not very good at baking and pretty bad at vlogging, well, here you go. Hello, I'm going to make pie 
for my new friends. There's our crust. We're gonna put it in uh, the pie. You know, you gotta wash your blueberries. I need some lemon zest and some lemon juice and some flour and some sugar and some cinnamon. I'm also gonna throw in um, just a pinch of um, chipotle pepper. Now, why am I doing that? I don't know. Obi, have you seen my zest? Where the fuck did I put the zest? Okay, I found my zest. And zest can join the party. Feel good. This is very therapeutic. Well, I found a website here that says you must use this trick to prevent a soggy bottom pie crust. The trick is to use egg whites. Looking good. There's the lattice that I made. Um, probably should have done it on the pie. I think moving it to the pie is going to be difficult, but it is interwoven, so it might transfer easily. The pie itself may be horrible, but uh, visually, it looks like a pie. Oh! I am genuinely impressed. That's beautiful. Thank you. It's very good. I'm gonna eat this like Paul Hollywood. Gonna... It's a buttery crust. That's a buttery bread. It's a real, a real buttery crust. It's well done bread. So tell me about this pie. Um, this is a blueberry pie. Uh, there you have it. I'm genuinely impressed. <laughs> I mean that sincerely. The lattice crust is, is it's artisanal. Good Thank for you, you man. Um, Good for so you. Last time I made, I made a blueberry pie for my girlfriend about three years ago, and it was a little too juicy. Wow, this looks great. The filling is not too loose, but it's also yeah, I was, been cooked through. I was surprised that it held its shape. Not too sweet. A little not bit too sweet. A little bit tart. Did you put some lemon juice? There's a little bit of lemon, lemon juice, juice in this. Maybe a little too much lemon for me. It's something I'd like to perfect. I've eaten a lot of pie, and this is this is really good. I would say I think your note on it that there might be a little bit too much lemon would would, yeah. would prevent it from yeah. achieving a ten. I get it. Um, but I think that because it the crust is what is really well made, it's delicious, uh, baked right. The filling is not too loose. It held up when you when you put it down. Uh, the moisture level is great. It's not too sweet. It's not too tart. Um, we're gonna go with a eight seven five. Whoa! We're doing we're going pitchfork ratings. H have you found your calling? Maybe. Are I you gonna leave Watcher and just make pies full time now? I might. I might become a pie man. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good. You know what? I give it a solid eight. I'll take it. Thank you again, Sean. Awesome. This has been a really thrill good. of a lifetime. This has been a blast. I must shake your hand. <laughs> Thank you. It's been my pleasure. It really it's has. It's been our pleasure. Thank you for showing us the full gamut here. Come back anytime. I will. We're going to go uh, take a nap together. Yeah, that sounds good. We have a special lounge for that. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the pie hole, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for bringing me on one of these, as always. I oh, yeah. I mean, happy to have you. You're my friend. If you're ever in Los Angeles or Tokyo, or wherever else they got pie holes. Boy, you'd be a fool not to go here. You gonna leave that there? Yeah, leave that for the crows. Sounds about right. Let's uh, let's leave. Ooh, that's <laughs> a lot of pie. <laughs>